Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Stephen, and uh, welcome to the mini Kirk House concert here on a beautiful day in May uh, during one of the weirdest times uh, I certainly have ever known. Uh, this is the first time I've spoken to anyone face to face apart from my wife and daughter since March. So this is, uh, this feels a little bit like I've been let out of prison. <laughs> I haven't just been let out of prison though, don't worry. That's uh, just to reassure you all. Um, I said, my name's Stephen, you know Chris, who spent a fair bit of time with you. Standing by that tree is Rachel Kennedy, and she is from Eastside Arts, uh, organized lots of jolly artistic things in East Belfast. The lady with the electric guitar is Rachel McCabe. She has been let out of prison, yeah. And then the gentleman uh, who actually knew how to set up the PA is Dan Leith. And Dan and Rach are going to be doing some singing for you today. Um, I would just like to say a big hello to you. Uh, I am, I'm good friends with a wonderful lady called Jan Branch, who I know is very good friends with Betty, who is sitting there. Um, and uh, Betty, I just want to say uh, a big hello to you. And I'm glad that you're feeling a bit better. And uh, Betty used to run the uh, Belfast Festival, without which many uh, of us would have had considerably less work over the years. So lovely to meet you, Betty. I told Jan I'd be seeing you. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to start off by doing something unaccompanied. Uh, and it's by Flanders and Swan, which I'm sure some of you will know. I'm just going to put the microphone back on here so I can hold the page down, excuse me. Right, this is called The GNU Song. A year ago last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo when I met a man who thought he knew the lot. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of quills a porcupine has got. So I asked him, what's that creature there? He answered, oh, it's a helk. I might have gone on thinking that was true. If the animal in question hadn't put that chap to shame and said, I ain't a helk, I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu, I'm a gnu, the nicest work of nature in the zoo. I'm a gnu, how do you do? You really ought to know wahoos, wahoo. I'm a gnu, spelt G-N-U. I'm not a camel or a kangaroo, so let me introduce. I'm neither man nor moose. Gano, 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 I'm a gano. I had taken furnished lodgings down at Rustington on Sea when I travelled to Ashton under Lyne, I think it was. And the second night I stayed there, I was wakened from a dream, which I'll tell you about some other time. Among the hunting trophies on the wall above my bed, stuffed and mounted was a face I thought I knew. A bison? No, not a bison. An okapi? No, unlikely really. A hearty beast? When I thought I heard a voice say, <coughs> I'm a gnu. I'm a gnu. A another gnu. I wish I could ganache my teeth at you. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to canoe wahoos wahoo. I'm a gnu. Spelt G N U. Call me bison or a copy and I'll sue. Ganor am I the least like the dreadful hearty beast? Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this particular Flanders and Swan number is called the Hippopotamus. And it goes like this. 
A bold hippopotamus was standing one day on the banks of the cool Shalimar. He gazed at the bottom as it peacefully lay by the light of the evening star. Away on a hilltop sat combing her hair was a fair hippopotami maid. The hippopotamus was no ignoramus and sang her this sweet serenade. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow down to the hollow and there let us wallow in glorious mud. Uh, the fair hippopotama he aimed to entice from her seat on that hilltop above. As she hadn't got a ma to give her advice, came tiptoeing down to her love. Like thunder the forest re-echoed the sound of the song that they sang when they met. His immemorata adjusted her garter and lifted her voice in duet. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there let us wallow in glorious mud. Uh, the bold hippopotami began to convene on the banks of that river so wide. I wonder now what am I to say of the scene that ensued by the Shalimar side. They dived all at once with an ear-splitting splosh. Then they rose to the surface again. A regular army of hippopotami all singing this haunting refrain. Mud, mud, glorious mud, nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there let us wallow in glorious mud. Uh, thank you all. Thank you very much.